Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and welcome back to my mini series of configuring and installing an FTP server within Windows Server 2012. Today I'm going to be going over part three, which is going to consist of configuring FTP. So let's get started. So what you want to do is uh, hit the hit the Win key, uh, the Windows key. And you want to locate your Internet Information Services IIS Manager, which is right here. And I think on the last video, guys, I showed you how to install that role as well as the FTP role. Uh, you want to expand your computer node right here. And do you want to get started? No, I'm going to say do not. Don't. No. Uh, right click on the sites node and you want to add a new FTP site. Now within the FTP site, you want to give it a, a nice FTP site name and as well as give it the physical path. So what I'm going to do is, let's go uh, BJ FTP, let's go BJ Tech, or I actually may do BTN <laughs> for BJ Tech News, uh, FTP site. This is really up to you what you guys really want to name your FTP site, so it's really up to you. And uh, in part one, I show you guys how to create a. Uh, we created a folder that's going to be our main root, and I place it on the C drive. And we're going to hit next. And up to this point right here, you want to have no SSL, no SSL. All right. Uh, I'm not going to secure the site with a web certificate, so I'm going to leave that a little on. You guys could do that if you want, but for this example, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we're going to leave all unassigned port 21 is good uh, again make sure no SSL is unchecked and then we're gonna hit next now authentication we want to do basic and uh, allow access we want to specify the roles of user groups and we want to give it the user group that we created now the user group that we created in the I believe on the second video which let's check what was that so I'm gonna open up my active directory and user account uh, and let me see if I remember and I called it FTP users that is the security group that we created on the second video underscore users make sure you give the permissions of read and write and we're going to hit finish awesome so the next thing that you want to do is configure the firewall so what we're going to do is a Windows R command and we want to type in firewall period s I mean CPL control panel and you guys want to go into allow an app or feature through firewall for, through Windows firewall we're gonna click on that now you want to make sure that FTP server is allowed in the profile that your network card is enabled so uh, we're gonna find the FTP I have domain private and public all enabled that's awesome that's what you guys want to do Okay, so once you got your FTP server enabled on domain, private, and public, you're almost good to go. I'm going to hit the back button because I want to go into advanced settings. And once you're within advanced settings, we want to go into the incoming rules section. And there's uh, there should be three FTP settings by default. They should be enabled, which would be the FTP port 21, which is the passive ports, and as well as the secure FTP, which is the TCP 9. 90 so let's look for those and here it goes one two three let me expand this and you should have these three FTP services in your inbound rules enable and good to go again uh, this one is for port 21 for passive port and another one for secure 990 and this you got a nice little range right here for uh, traffic in uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video again this is actually part three of my mini series on how to configure and install FTP server within server 2012 I think in the last video guys we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out I mean we're gonna make sure our FTP uh, server is able to uh, we're able to get into it drive stuff into it and uh, we're almost good to go hopefully you guys enjoy if you have any questions leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that thumbs up and I catch you guys later peace out